peel and stick veneer makes adding real wood onto a project super simple. There's a mask that covers the sticky back and you simply peel and stick it onto the surface. Be sure to slowly peel and apply to reduce the possibility of bubbling or uneven application. Because it's an actual wood finish, it can be trimmed with a trim router and sanded. You'll want to use a high grit sandpaper like 180 or 220 so that it doesn't sand through the thin veneer layer. If there is a seam between the two panels, overlap the seam by a sixteenth of an inch and sand it smooth until the overlap is no longer noticeable. Like any regular wood surface, it can be stained and finished with your favorite product. The best part is there is no glue or contact cement that you have to deal with, so essentially it's mess free.